I saw the film the weekend. It is fantastic. Oh, thanks. Somebody, somebody so said glad you liked it. Well, somebody, well, somebody says to me afterwards, "Do you like it?" And I go, "No, like is the wrong word. It's too immersive. It's uncomfortable. It's funny, and it's emotional." Um, was was that the feeling you got when you saw the script for the first time? Um, I think I thought, you know, that the choice of how to tell the story was really. Uh, felt like the right print, the right time, period in his life, because it was such a transformative period for him. A lot of things happened in an extremely short amount of time. I thought that was really ingenious, and uh, I was one of the folks that was able to be part of Ziggy's vision for this being the right time to tell the story, and it was it was amazing. And yeah, I think you know we really worked hard on the language. Uh, and on the d attention to detail so that it would feel immersive and it didn't just feel like a collection of uh, collection of events but it felt like you maybe you were in the room with him at times and I give Ray Green so much credit of capturing that kind of community energy around Bob like with the band and things like that maybe that's what you say by immersive is has that quality well also you know I'm one of these people that eye for detail on the London underground scenes you know I'm looking for signs out of place or the wrong button or stuff oh, yeah. like that were there, were there signs out of place in the underground scene? not that I noticed and okay, it's good. and it's just you know we had a McVitie sign or something and also and also getting all the old cars for, for yeah. the Jamaica scenes and yeah, things yeah. like that that must have been quite quite a task yeah I mean Chris Lowe our, our UK based production designer and his team were phenomenal uh, Chris is, I've had the pleasure of working with a number of times and he, he really cared deeply about every, every detail. Anna Shepard, our costume designer, um, you know, our every, every, uh, you know, multiple people working on dia the dialogue and the, the intonations, um, you know, really it was, it felt like we had to, we had to honor the subject. So hopefully that comes across. Oh, it totally does. Because I, w I was sitting there watching it. And I, you know, I met Lashana before, and, and I know how they speak. And I go, I know these guys are acting, but it feels like Lashana, they're just—it's yeah. just them. She, they're so wonderful together and 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 on their own. It's really exciting. And um, and what kind of makes this the right time for for, for another Bob, for the first Bob film? You know, Ziggy felt that it was the right time, um, and I would let him speak to that. But I think. I think there are there are principles and ideas in Bob's work and in like the things he said and the songs he wrote and how he said what he said that don't go out of style and I think as you know the, these things that feel like they have like eternal relevance you know and um, you know where, wherever there are those those things that plague us uh, you know he's he's relevant but, but also the things that we celebrate and the joy and the love and the, and the sense of possibility and the exuberance that's also part of life. He, he, he encompasses all of that in his music, so it's very special to be here. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey you guys! <laughs> hey you guys! Hey, hey, that's what they all say. Hey you guys! Hey you guys!